Hello fellow book questers, it is on, or in the book quester. Today I'll introduce you to this version 2 review of The Dreadful Terra Prosperating by Alexandra Bracken. So, every family has secrets, but not every family has a secret pack of the demons. Well, let's, well, let's get right on to it. Prosperating. He's born from a family made completely out of successful businessmen, CEOs, five-star generals, famous congressmen, such and such. There seems to be more relatives than he knows. And he is quite unexceptional. He's not greedy, not particularly, at least not as his greedy family. And she understands what charity means, because most of the family is like, charity is a disease that is not easily cured, and such and such. And one day, everything changed. One day, on a, on a Founder's Day, the day when his ancestor, Orno Redding, made a bonfire to burn off something that was cursed and renew everything and the town was officially named Red Hood instead of Southport. Another normal Founders Day is mind you. He noticed when he went to the cottage after school. The cottage is his house and it's only called that because it's then the house more like a castle, palace, and more like a pa uh, palace and a grand estate and a castle combined. It's because it stands in the same place that the normal Reading Cottage has once stood in. Well, and when he went back, a great cloud of relatives were waiting for him. And by that, they were really waiting for him. And grandmother, the the heartless Redding, who handed out fake money to the homeless and forced her her gardener to f continue pruning her roses after she fell down, f fell down and broke both of his arms. That heartless Redding was waiting for him, ready to lead him and prove his sister down into the dungeon. The dungeon was supposed to be a joke. After all, there couldn't be real a real dungeon. Or could it? When Prosper Redding and Prue went down there, they found a book. I mean, with all the other relatives, of course. They found a book. A book that seemed to, that seemed to radiate power. And on the first Page, it said, it said, yes, it said, the first page said in, in cursive, it was a scroll that, your fee, your creator, your fee ends of week, I mean, I, this is the best I remember, okay, your, your, your fee ends of wickedness, your devils of night, you shall not, ha you shall have no entry to this book of might. And this is a witch's book, her a witch's private journal of her books and notes, her grimoire. But and when and it was actually a test, a test to see if our dear friend Prosperity Oceanus Redding had a demon inside. From there, she is proved that there is actually a demon inside him, and he's taken away. Uh, rescued by his dear uncle Barnabas and his daughter Nell. When and he, the next day he wakes himself, finding himself in a cluttered attic on top of the House of Seven Terrors, a haunted house. There he finds out that many magical and possible things are re real, such as such as things such as demons, fiends, witches, and he finds out that Nell is actually a witch, and he finds out the witches 
are actually the good people, the people who are trained to use magic to defend the realm from fiends. There are four realms on the top, the and on the bottom, the eight ancients. The second realm, the realm of spectres, the dead. The third realm, the the realm of the fiends, also known as downstairs. The top room, the realm of the humans. I mean, the opposite. So, we're here, and she finds out that there's a demon inside him, and it's like, whoa, a demon. And inside, there is indeed a demon. A demon, a malefactor. A demon that makes a contract with humans. In exchange for their eternal servitude as servants downstairs in their afterlife, and so prosperity reading is one doom reading, because Alastra, the demon that's inside him, had made a contract with his family so many years ago, and then when that happened. You know what I mean, right? When that happened, the family broke the contract because of the piercing eyes of the other people, the people who were suspecting that the Reddings were witches. And so they severed the contract, and um, Alastor was forced into sleep for quite a long time. Now he's back, and he's out for revenge. Mm, I think I have said in great detail the first two parts, and if you want the rest of the part, you can watch the other review. But I, I kind of read from the book in this one, so I kind of just explain the first part, and from the next, Prosperity learns to trust Nell and Uncle Barnabas, and and after after uh, renaming his identity and going to school for a while, he finds out. Quite a shock, actually, that Nell and Uncle Barnabas did not aim to help him, but to kill, to get the demon inside him, and they actually had a contract with a demon named Pyra, who was actually Alastor's sister, and wanted to overthrow Alastor, take his power, and use it for a blood key to open the realm of the Asians and take the magic. Simple stuff, right? And it's a great. Not as creepy as this environment, you know. I mean, but still, I'm pretty creepy. But it's really funny, and I mean, I really hate thrillers, but this cannot count as a thriller. It's counted as a good old fantasy. And like always, a bookquester and a bookquester.